Jay, so I get asked the question all the time, roll thread or cut thread? Which one's best, which one's strongest, stuff like that. So I think today would be a great time to go over it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm definitely down to learn a little bit more about rolled versus cut threads, and hopefully you can kind of elaborate a little bit. So in comparison with rolled versus cut threads, which one is stronger, Baron? So the short answer is threads made by rolling are stronger. There's a whole lot of factors that play into that, how they're formed, taking two dies, and basically forcing material into itself like Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. uh, making that process is going to put a whole lot of strength in there, and there's a whole lot of advantage to it. But many a times, asking which one's stronger is not the proper question. We should be asking which one's right for my application. Now, as we can see here, this guy, this, this is a rolled thread bolt. So it's formed by two dies rolling on either side of it and using pressure to push in those threads. So as you know, we have the major diameter, the minor diameter, and then the pitch diameter, which is that middle point in between major and minor. So if we do like this, this V that we have, we have on the top of that V, we have major, bottom, minor, and then right at that middle point is your pitch diameter. These parts are taken down from this point to here to pitch diameter, so they're a little bit skinnier, making that helicoil V that we're so used to seeing from this point of view. Right. So that puts a whole lot of stress tension in it, it cold works it a little bit, it makes it where it's way stronger, it's not going to get dinged up, because it is harder than most of the other points on this fastener. And that works for a whole lot of applications, especially when you're using a high volume of fasteners. So this, this next one would be a cut thread, correct? So this guy right here is a cut thread. Uh, this particular one right here was actually done on a CNC. You can tell by how close that ending point is mm -hmm. right there where it just cuts right into the shoulder. Now, these do have a place in the world for them. A whole lot of custom threading, small volume. When you're only running a handful of parts and you need them now, you might not have all the tooling cost in there that you have for those roll threading. Okay. So you just want to cut some threads. Now we can do that by single pointing on a CNC or by using a cut threader like a Landis. Other benefits of this is you're not getting those stress risers or that work hardening that you see in roll threading. But for most of the applications that you're going to see bolts used on, you're gonna see rolled threads. Okay, gotcha, I appreciate that information. Now, what applications would I see you know, a cut thread bolt being used in comparison with a rolled thread? So besides the, the big picture issue, which is volume, like if you need a million bolts, they're all gonna be roll threaded. If you need 10 bolts, there's mm -hmm. a chance it'd be cut thread. But when it comes into the application, subsea applications, a whole lot of high stress areas where they don't want all that stress and tension in your threaded area, mm -hmm. uh, high grade fasteners where they're already under a whole lot of stress because they are so strong, you don't wanna strengthen them up. You don't wanna take something that is in the HR, the high HR 30s range, you know, like a 38 and then roll thread it and now the threads themselves are over 40 HRC. You don't want to put the, that type of stressor into your application. That's when you're going to see it called out to not roll the threads. Okay, gotcha. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about fasteners, check out behamfast.com.